Hello, welcome to another INFJ Ramble. Um, today's topic is going to touch on why people come into our lives. I've made recordings on this before, I just wasn't satisfied. So just kind of like revisiting and refining my thoughts on the subject. Um, people, I feel, come into our lives to not only um, enhance us, but also to teach us how to let go. Yeah, um, I think in our society, we have been conditioned to chase after things, try to accomplish things, and to grasp onto these things with a very firm grip, you know? But then, I think we fail to realize that, number one, when you're trying too hard to attain anything, it's just kind of like a waste of energy, you know? Um, and not only that, like once you like, you know, like you chase after something or you try so hard and say you are successful and you, you like finally attain something, instead of like letting it go, like attaining it and letting it go, you just kind of hold on to that and then you cheese after something else and hold on to that, cheese after something else, hold on to that, hold on, holding on to everything. And then you just feel like a whole bunch of weight that just kind of keeps you in place, you know? And so, you know, um, yeah, we've been conditioned to believe that more is, um, how do I say? more is better when I think less is better, you know? Because I feel like when you're constantly chasing after things and trying too hard and, um, you know, meeting people and trying to hold on to connections that are obviously beyond the, I don't know, expiration, like it's, 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 run its course, you know what I mean? And you keep holding on to people, objects, things, experiences, events. It just gets so heavy, so heavy. And we have to learn to like enjoy things as they come to us and release them to let things go and let things play out as it should instead of trying to force. I've made videos on this before, and I know I've kind of veered off the subject, but um, it's kind of in alignment with why we meet people. You know, they're, they're here to kind of teach you something, to show you an aspect of yourself that perhaps you haven't awakened yet, and then they're also here to help you to enhance yourself and to become a better version of yourself, irregardless of the situation. I mean, I think we go through like trauma, you know, in order to figure out like how resilient we really are and how powerful and how much strength we have within us, you know. Um, and if, you know, if good things happen, then you know, I think that's life kind of giving you a break, you know, so that you can kind of affirm the things you've already learned. You know, um, I was having a conversation with, I guess, a friend, <laughs> and um, we were trying to figure out, like, what's, why, why do we seek connections? Why do we want to, you know, what compels us to connect with certain individuals in our life and it's all about the exchange you know it's an exchange of information an exchange of data you know um so that we can kind of you know like i said become better versions of ourselves um i think it gets hard when you don't understand like you know how things, how do I say, 
how things, I don't want to say operate because I don't think it's like robotic or machinery. It's very organic. Um, but I think once you realize and understand why, you know, you can kind of like um, make peace with whatever comes your way or whatever goes away, you know what I mean? And just realize that every moment, every person, every experience that you've ever encountered throughout your life is literally a blessing. You know, I think it's all in perspective. Like, how do you want to view things? Do you want to see it as suffering or do you want to see it as, you know, a blessing? I think everything is like a blessing in disguise. And I think like we align ourselves with certain people at certain times in our lives for um, self-enhancement. That's pretty much it. It's the exchange. It's the exchange of information and data pretty much. Um, so yeah, like I think like this is just my personal perspective, but I think um, yeah, people leave to show you how to let go. Um, people come into your lives to kind of like gift you something like knowledge or wisdom or a tool that you could probably use in the future, you know, as you move forward through life. Um, I also think that the idea of, I'm still like exploring this topic, but I think soulmates are de like the idea of soulmates from one angle is kind of delusional you know I think your soul mate is right here you know and everyone else is just kind of passing through you know I mean it's a hard reality to face but nothing or no one stays in your life forever you know what I mean and um you know, like some people stay for a season, for a lifetime, but after the lifetime, you have to pass on eventually, you know? So yeah, I'm going to stop talking. I talk too much. Um, people come into your life for the exchange of data, of knowledge, of wisdom, of experiences, and it all boils down to self-enhancement. And... I don't know, I've just kind of been looking at my life and looking back on it and there's been people that I was really, really attached to, like I invested so much of myself into it. I think it was a form of codependency and um, I don't know, I think you have to experience pain to some extent to, to um, it's not really pain, it's like I think it's repressed trauma that comes to the surface when something just doesn't work out as you had planned or expected. It's repressed trauma that's triggering you. And then once you kind of pinpoint that, you can kind of integrate it and move forward. You know what I mean? And I think, I think like you need to be you need to become your own best friend. You need to realize that everything that you could possibly need is already inside of you. And you don't need anyone's approval or validation to, you know, be a holistic human being because you are whole. And then everyone is just kind of like icing on the cake. You know what I mean? Um, but if you invest too much of your life force or your emotional currency, into external things that will for sure lead to suffering you know because the investment should be in yourself for sure <laughs> always and um, we haven't been taught that we've been taught to invest ourselves in everything else but the most important investment is yourself you know anyhow if you learned something from this video cool if you didn't learn anything, that's cool too, you know. Um, thank you for watching. Blessings to one and all. Amen.